Welcome back to DIY with KB. If you're new here, my name is Kiva and I teach people how to achieve the Lux look for less. Today's video is one of my favorite videos to film. This is an Amazon home decor favorites. Last time we did furniture, but this time we are doing home decor. So let's just get right into it. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. Now let's head over to Amazon. Coming in at number one, we have these velvet pillow covers. I love these, you guys. They have been a hit in my home recently. Here is one of them. It has a really nice sheen to it. It adds a nice texture, but it doesn't accumulate all of that dust like you kind of associate velvet with. You don't see anything showing up on them. They look really nice in Lux and they are so comfortable. I'm telling you, the dog never gets off of these pillows. What I like to do with pillow covers like this, since they are so affordable, is I actually get like maybe a 20 by 20 and then I put a 26 by 26 pillow inside. So you get that really Really nice full overstuffed look that looks super duper luxurious but you could go with any size you want they're super affordable again the 22 by 22 is $20 but they have 20 by 20 18 by 18 I think they even have 16 by 16 so you can actually get these pillow covers in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes and you can use that to add some dimension to your sofas your accent chairs your beds you can put these pretty much anywhere I 100% stand by this brand because they never disappoint the next item is $12 and it is this wood garland. So garland is really in right now all across the different design styles. And what I really like about this again is it's only $12. So it's not like the longest garland in any world, but you can use garland a lot to jazz up your surfaces right now. I have a decorative garland that I just spray painted on my coffee table to add a little bit of texture. You can put these in bowls, on decorative plates. You can even stack them on top of books. So it's a really nice way to add some decor without having to spend too much money. And while these are a natural wood tone, you can spray paint them really easily because they are so affordable. What I also like to do with things like this is you could actually just buy a couple of them and tie them together and you'll kind of be none the wiser. So you can still get a really long piece of garland without spending too much money. I I have one from Pottery Barn and it was a hundred dollars. You could get one that is comparable in length um, for much cheaper by stringing all of these together. So that's kind of a little tip there. Now this next one is also $12. It is also beaded garland, but it is black and it has like the tan fringe at the end. So this is really good if you have a neutral aesthetic or a modern home where you want to have some neutral accents. This really adds some like earthy colors to the space, um, but you still have the black. So if you have a modern home, you might not want all of that wood tone. So you can have a little bit of it without a ton. This is very similar in size to the one that I just showed you. So again, you can string them together, but this is really good for small space. This is great for a console or bookshelf styling where you want a little bit of something but you don't want to spend a ton of money on it because you're not going to be looking at those things all of the time. Next, we have this geometric vessel set, which is $25 for these two vessels. One of them is white and one of them is black. And this screams the Leanne Ford collection from Crate and Barrel, but it's so much more affordable. One of those vases is about $100. You get two of these for $25. This is great. Again, if you have a modern home, if you have a Scandinavian home, um, if you have like a modern neutral home, it just adds some really interesting shapes because again, when we have a more muted color palette, we need to add some dimension somehow and the way we do that is via texture and you just can't beat it with these things and one of the things that i really love about amazon is if these arrive broken they will send you a new one or they will figure it out so that happens all the time especially right now because we're all ordering things from home and it kind of gets frustrated because things get broken or they don't arrive on time at least with amazon you know you have that guarantee of getting that high quality thing they have really good customer service so you can get that amazing looking decor without having to worry as much to style these, I think you could leave them empty. You could pair them together on a shelf because they have a little bit of a difference in height and obviously they are different colors. You can also add, um, you know, uh, pompous to it or decorative greenery or even flowers if you want to. You can stack these on top of coffee table books. They can actually stand alone. There are so many options with these pieces and you really can't go wrong. Next, we have these adjustable gold pharmacy floor lamps. They're technically brass, but I'm going to call them gold today because I'm living on the edge. These are my absolute favorite. You can actually see one behind me right here. They are incredible. One, they are super easy to put together. They are very sturdy. I'm telling you, when we brought them upstairs, I ordered four at a time. I had some marital problems because they were really, really heavy 
and super sturdy and um, they are adjustable so they can go up and down in height so you can use them to frame out your living space like I do here but it would be really good in a bedroom and like your your reading nook or something to that effect it's a really nice way to add an elegant touch the gold version is $65 but they also have a black version which is a little bit more affordable what I really really love about these task lamps is that they do have like a swing arm sort of situation so you can extend them fully or you can make them a little bit shorter what I also love about them is that the light bulb is actually like built in so you don't have to install a light bulb you don't have to find a perfect one on your own time and the light bulb is not exposed they have a really nice acrylic sheet kind of covering that so it looks really really nice and sleek and last but not least they have an adjustable light so they can get really bright and they can get really dim so depending upon if you need mood lighting or not these are absolutely perfect and the cords actually come out through like part of one of the like links of the lamp instead of from the base so it kind of just like runs along the back of it and into the wall instead of like pooling a cord on the floor which I really really don't like. Before I tell you more about my Amazon home decor favorites I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community for curious and creative people like you. No matter what you're interested in, Skillshare has a course that is perfectly tailored to your passions. They have classes in interior design, graphic design, photography, and thousands of other subjects, so there is always something that will interest you. Interior design isn't just about creating a glamorous home, it is also about creating a space that helps you feel good. In holistic interior design, transform your personal space for well-being, Steffi and Mary of Clear Studios discuss how to curate a space that considers how the space makes you feel and also shares how to focus on a space as a whole to make it feel cohesive as opposed to segmented. My favorite portion of the class was a section titled Plants. So many of you asked me how to naturally incorporate plants into our spaces. This suggests that you add tropical plants to the home because they are the most adaptable. So even if you don't have a green thumb, having plants is still feasible for you. They even recommend some companies that have aesthetically pleasing artificial lights that help you have plants in low light areas, which is exactly what I'm going to do in the bedroom right after this. The designers from Clear Studios were able to cover topics from lighting, plants, biophilia, and space planning in only one hour and 22 minutes, with most Skillshare classes being under 60 minutes to fit any schedule. The best part about Skillshare is that there are no ads. Skillshare is fully dedicated to help you swiftly explore new skills and deepen your passions. It's also super affordable, with the annual subscription being less than $10 a month. If you're interested in unlocking your creativity with Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now let's get back to my Amazon home decor favorites. For those of you who don't have Ikea around, you can't get my favorite for jaw drawer pillow inserts, but don't worry, Amazon has their own. You can get a set of two of these down pillow inserts for $38.99. They are a little bit more expensive, but they come right to your door and they have almost 5,000 five-star reviews. These pillows are incredible, again, because down pillows or alternative down, um, they move more than cotton filled pillows. So you can give them a chop if you like something like that. Um, and they're just really comfortable to sit on. There's nothing worse than spending so much money on like a throw pillow. And you're like, this is the most uncomfortable thing in the world. It has no practical use. And we want to buy things that have practical use because we want them to look good. But we also want them to feel good because we're all sitting at home and we want to just like be able to lay on the couch and be comfortable. I also want to say that there is a 6% off coupon on this right now so snatch these up if you're looking for them and also remember you can get these throw pillows for your bed too when people always think about throw pillows they're always thinking about like the living room or an accent chair you can use these same pillows as like the euro pillows in your bedroom that's a really more affordable way to get that look and again you can pair them with my absolute favorite pillow covers that I shared with you earlier and that same brand that makes those pillow covers makes an array of pillow covers so you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to link my other favorite pillow covers down below they have have mid-century ones they have more um, earthy ones they have such a wide range and I'm using them in all of my clients homes right now so I'll leave that down for you as well this bowl is about $76 and it looks so luxe what I really like about this bowl is it is an antique brass and it just like is something you've never seen before it looks unique it you looks like it's one of a kind and I really enjoy that when I actually saw it I couldn't tell that it was brass I thought it was like a petrified wood so it has so many different textures and colors in it I think it's going to be a really perfect statement piece in your home obviously decorative bowls are in because you can kind of just let them sit by themselves and they kind of speak 
for themselves. You could add decorative garland. You can also add moss, which I'm going to talk about in a few seconds. But this one, it could be left completely empty on a coffee table, a console, a sideboard, a dining table. Um, I'm trying to list all of the surfaces that I could possibly come up with because it could be used on any of those surfaces. What I also want to encourage you to do is use the decorative bowls if they're food safe in your kitchen. You don't have to have those ugly bowls for your fruits and vegetables that you leave outside. You outside <laughs> leave on the counter so you can use these really nice aesthetically pleasing bowls so that you can bring your style into the kitchen as well the kitchen is such a um a difficult area you're like it has to be functional it's always ugly and that's just not the case so you could do that with something like this and last but not least this is not just one bowl but this is actually two bowls so this is a set of two for 75 76 dollars if we're including all the fun stuff in there um so i think that this is definitely worth it i actually really enjoyed how they styled it on amazon they kind of like layered the bowls and that's such a really nice look that i think is going to give you a nice vintage vibe if that's something that you're in because everyone's into that in 2021 Let's talk olive trees. So olive trees are so in right now because they work with so many different design styles. You see them in like the Studio McGee style, which is a little bit more traditional. You see them in coastal styles. You even see them in traditional and modern styles. Olive trees are popular across the board, but where do we get them? So you could be like me and spend $400 on an olive tree, but you just don't have to do that. You can be patient and get this one. So this one is almost seven feet tall. It's by Nearly Natural and it is super affordable and almost has 700 five-star reviews on Amazon, which is incredible. And this tree is a great price. The tree is only $110. There is somewhat of a shipping delay right now. It says one to two months, but it is $110. And it comes in a nice, small, slim black pot. So you don't have to worry about using the ugly pot that comes with the tree, which is sometimes a problem. There's a really nice, slim one. So you can upgrade a pot. You could like upcycle one from like Goodwill or Home Goods, or you could invest in a really luxurious one to really elevate your space. One of my favorite tips to do is get one of these really tall trees, put trash, but Beneath it in a vessel and that will help re raise it up so it adds some height to the room this is a really great faux tree it does really well on the nearly natural website and also here on amazon and it it's as real as it's going to get you could definitely invest in a real olive tree but this one doesn't require as much upkeep just remember that if you're getting a faux olive tree like this try not to keep it in super harsh direct sunlight what I also really love about this tree is that it, it looks real with the branch. So the branch is like a really critical part of the faux tree because you can have all the leaves and then sometimes it just looks like they took like a straw painted it brown and just like glued it on there. But this one looks real. It has all of the curves. It has all of the texture. They're at least attempting to fool you into thinking that this looks real. And it looks really narrow in the picture, but all you have to do with a tree like this is fluff it. So when you get it home, pull all the branches down try to pull them apart think about what you do to a christmas tree go ahead and do that to your faux olive tree as well if you're feeling impatient or you just don't need a super tall olive tree this is a great option it is 73 dollars for 4.9 feet so it's on the shorter side but you can style it in a low pot you can put it in a basket kind of like they did here on amazon it's just a really nice way to add a pop of green i would definitely recommend something of this size if you have lower ceilings like eight foot or seven foot ceilings you don't need something super tall this will be fine on its own and sometimes people put them in their entryways to kind of frame them out the opportunities are endless, but this one is going to get to you a little bit faster. If you are into the rustic look, if you're into the farmhouse look, if you are into the vintage style that is taking over the internet this year, you need this squat urn. It is $75 and it looks so rustic, right? That's the point of it. It looks rustic. It looks aged, but honestly, it is brand new. It is not vintage. It does not have a story, but you are going to get that look for less. It has that really nice earthy texture with the tan and the beige in there. And it also has a gray top. I could see this in like a styling like Amber Interiors or Studio McGee. I would definitely throw this on a bookshelf with some coffee table books to just fill up some space. You could also add some fresh florals to this, but honestly, this again is one of those pieces that can just stand on its own this three set of vases is only 25 dollars yes you get three vases for only 25 dollars 
And I love these because we love things looking the same. I love that. I want everything to look the same and I want there to be a minute difference. And in that case, the only difference is the height. There is a ton of texture. It does have like a shiny effect. So if you're not into that, that's okay. But again, these are perfect for console styling and bookshelf styling. We just need filler and filler can be so expensive, but not on Amazon. So what I would do in this case is I might actually get the white version and I might get the two-tone version. They have a version that has like a white and tan and then they also have a version that has white and gray. I like the white and tan. It just gives you that like really antiqued look that a lot of people are craving right now. So I would scoop these up. You can use them as a set or you can spread them out throughout your home. That is the beauty of matching vessels. They work together, but they also work on their own and you can fill one of them with vessels. What I like to do sometimes is do a grouping of vases at what I like to do sometimes is do a grouping of vases and then only put like a flower or a piece of greenery in one of them. So one of them really pops with the color and the other ones are there to kind of bolster that vignette. This is probably the item I'm most excited for in today's video. This is the Arlena rug. And I'm excited about this rug because I just got it from my guest room and it looks incredible. It is a traditional like oriental style rug, but it is black. So if you have a modern design, if you have a Scandinavian design, if you are into minimal design, this is perfect for you because you get a little bit of texture, but you don't have to break from your color scheme. I personally decided to pair this with a black bed and all white linens and it just like makes the room feel like really like grungy and like chic. I don't even know if you can use grungy and chic in the same sentence, but I did it and I'm confident about it, but I love this rug. You get that really luxe look affordably. There is no like fringe on it or anything like that. And it, it's really, really light. So it just ships to your home. You can carry it upstairs. You don't need help from anyone and you can put it right on down. And it's actually really sticky on the bottom. So you can definitely pair it with a rug pad, but honestly it is not essential. And it is so affordable. I'm not gonna tell you the price because I have so many different sizes, but I believe in the nine by 12 or something that, to that effect, it is $250, which honestly is a steal for a rug that size. But it is so affordable that if you uh, have a dog problem, if you have a kid accident, you're gonna be more okay with maybe throwing this one away or having to clean it than you know having to throw away an $800 or $2,000 rug. So I love this option. Now, these are my OG task lights. I've had these forever and I love them. These are pharmacy task lamps and they're going for $60 here on Amazon. They have brass and they have bronze. I love the brass. Honestly, they smell kind of funny when they come out of the box, but they are really easy to put together and they give off good light. They give off definitely yellow light. So just know that. And they're super affordable. You can use these to frame out a reading nook. You can use them like you would in a living room like I did for the other ones. But these, they don't really frame your sofas in the same way. I would only use these in a living area if your sofa isn't up against a wall or something to that effect because you need some room in the back for like the back rod to like stick out. So you don't want it right up against the wall because it will scratch your Wall most likely but it gives off good light I use it for my meetings all the time and it, it's used for my really nice like reading nook slash like dog area in my bedroom because like multi-use spaces and it works super well now I'm always talking about how moss is a really good decorative accent and some of you don't have access to a Dollar Tree or a home goods nearby so you can get this super moss on Amazon super moss is actually one of my favorite moss brands yes I have a favorite moss brand and you can get a two ounce bag for I believe $16 two ounces of moss is a lot of moss two ounces of anything else is not anything but for moss it's a ton of moss they even have an option where you can buy a three pound box of moss for $60 on Honestly, that's a steal. I don't quite know what you do with three pounds of moss, but honestly, I feel like I could do something with it and I would love that for me. But they have so many different colors. This is reindeer moss. The brand also sells all other types of moss. So this is really good for your decorative bowl, your trough, adding to one of your faux trees to try to make it look a little bit more real. Next, I want to talk about this dome lamp. It is iconic. It is such a restoration hardware dupe. I've put it in some of my clients' homes before and they love it. It gives off adequate light and it is $51. It comes in a variety of different colors so that kind of impacts the price. My favorite color obviously is the antique de brass. They also have it in a black and steel which also looks super luxe. They have it in like a, a rose gold color. I'm just gonna probably say don't get that one. I mean to each their own, um, but I hate it. <laughs> but I I do like the other ones, ample light, really cool look, really nice shape, and they're really good for like desk lighting or something to that effect. I wouldn't necessarily use them on like side tables in a living room. I think you could use them on nightstands. I feel like in a living room, they'd feel a little bit out of place because they're not super tall, but they'd be really good on a nightstand and I really love these. 
For those of you who are into the shagreen trend, and that's my modern home decor lovers and my glam home decor lovers, this is a great shagreen tray that is going for $40. I've seen this in a client's home and it does not scratch as much as normal shagreen, which we love. We love the shagreen texture. We don't always love the fragility of it, but this is faux shagreen people because this is Amazon, but it looks really nice. It has a really fun texture. It has some green undertones, which is kind of nice because it adds some earthiness to the space. You can use this on your coffee table, any type of table. What I really love about trays like this, they add texture, they add color, but they also like introduce an element of ease because you can put your decor right on that tray and when you actually need to use the table you can pick up the whole tray and put everything on the floor you don't have to worry about finding some place for all of your decor having to restyle it it's just on the tray you pick it up and you put it on the floor and then you put it back on the table now let's talk coffee table books. So coffee table books are like an area of controversy in the home decor community because you're like, if I don't really re need these, read these books, should I buy the books? They're kind of expensive. It's a toss up. It's all about what you value. I definitely think that you can use books that you actually read as part of your decor. I don't know how successful it always is on a coffee table, but this human's book is only $18 and it's a great read. I have it and it's also black. So it's really great if you have a more neutral or minimal color palette because it's really hard to find all black and all white books. They always have some pattern or some pop of color. I'm like, excuse me, I just want it to be boring, please, right? So this, you get that for really affordably. It's only $18 and it's a good size book. And even without like the cover on it, it still is black. So I really love that because sometimes when you have like a coffee table book, the outside cover, you're like, oh, it's white. And then when you take the cover off, you're like, okay, that's like bright yellow. Why is it bright yellow? So no matter what you do with this book, it's a good find. And you can actually take the cover and put it on a different book. Um, and then you have two decorative coffee table books for the price of one. And the last coffee table book I want to talk about is the Made for Living coffee table book. It is $30 and it is an Amazon bestseller. I'm sure you already own it, but it's a good read. It is a great book, so it's really good for like the minimal, neutral interiors, bohemian. You could pretty much use this coffee table book across the board, but be careful with this one because since it is a bestseller, they also have a Kindle version and there's nothing worse than buying the Kindle version of something and then nothing shows up at your door. But don't worry, you have a good read in store, but you don't have any decorative accents okay guys that's it for today's video those were my amazon home decor favorites we did rugs we did lighting we did decorative accents so hopefully you have a full list of things that you can use to elevate your home if you liked today's video please remember to subscribe like this video and check me out on instagram until next time have a beautiful day